If you get your prescriptions or just about anything else at Rite Aid, you'll want to listen up carefully. They're closing six stores in our state, and those locations are not alone. WMER 2 News is Jack Watson. Caught up with some shoppers tonight. Jack, I know they've had financial issues in the past. Why is all this happening? Well, Kelly, this is because the company is filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which they announced a few days ago. That means whether at another Rite Aid or not, shoppers at the impacted stores must now go someplace else to get their medicine. I get my medicine here, got my flu shots here. Everybody was very nice. It's a Wednesday evening trip to Rite Aid for Daisy Anthony and Glenn Burney. My medicine is in 12,000. Cart carrying over the counter and prescription medicine and a few grocery items. Customers like Anthony won't be able to shop here much longer. Uh, I don't have one. We don't have another Rite Aid in the area, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Anthony's Rite Aid location, just off Governor Ritchie Highway and Baltimore Annapolis Boulevard, is slated to close its doors. Along with an 89-page bankruptcy filing this week, plans from the company to shutter more than 150 stores nationwide. Caught up in those planned closures are two locations in Glen Burnie, one in Elkton, one in Bel Air, and two with Baltimore addresses. In a release this week, Rite Aid said, quote, the company is making every effort to ensure customers of impacted stores have access to health services, whether at another Rite Aid or a nearby pharmacy and will work to transfer prescriptions accordingly so that there is no disruption of services. Some folks didn't want to go on camera with me, but they tell me with other things going on elsewhere, like layoffs, they're not surprised. Retail pharmacies in particular are seemingly hurting. Competitor CVS announced its plans to close 900 stores by next year. One thing about Rite Aid, besides all the good service and everything, is that it's clean here. It's very, very clean. And they keep it clean. For customers like Anthony, it means a readjustment. Anthony tells me her nearest pharmacy might be a further away Walgreens. Like many I spoke with on Wednesday evening, she's sad to see this one go. Um, not happy. <laughs> no happy at all. Rite Aid did not say when the closures could happen, but the company says it has more than $3 billion from lenders to support the company through its reorganization.